Diamonds in my chain go up Every 20 minutes change clothes I had a meal before the label Just as long as they know Money made me do it I said rest in peace to pay Oh my god, guys, it feels so weird playing 2K. Ever since Madden 17 came out, like, I haven't even touched this game. And it's been forever since we last dropped the episode. Now, what I want to do is, I already put a playlist together of all the episodes just to keep you guys organized. So, if you missed any episode, be sure to go to the description. It'll say click here for the full playlist, and you guys will get caught up. But we're continuing right where we left off. Now, the first thing that I did when I got back in here was change my jump shot. I decided to go with the Kobe. I put it on quick, and I really like how it looks right now so we'll see how it does in the game but you guys see portland okc going to game three golden state already advanced and now boston celtics are waiting for us and the chicago bulls to see who's gonna win that matchup now for the home games i'm gonna be wearing these kds right here for the road games i'm gonna be wearing the 11s now i wish it could let you like choose the colorway but it already had it predetermined and i really like how this looks just to refresh your memory, I am playing a Hall of Fame difficulty and I bumped the quarter length to 6 minutes per quarter because my guy's basically out there the entire game, so I think this is still plenty of time. Frankly, they don't have many options in this one, win or go home. Well, here we go, game 6. We're looking to win this right here, right now. I'm not trying to go to Game 7, man. Like, it's already bad enough that there's some teams out there like the Warriors, like the Celtics, who are resting. And when you get resting days in the NBA playoffs, like, they are so key. So, we are trying to take this one here. You guys see, there's like an injury symbol next to Jimmy Butler's name. And this guy has played the entire playoffs with a sprained ankle. So we're definitely going to keep an eye out on how he does. I'm going to the free throw line early in the game here as I get all three of my free throws to go down. So definitely a good start for me here. Cutting to the basket, finishing with a one-handed dunk. And so far, out of our seven points, I have all of the seven. Soft touch off the glass. Freak's got nine points. Nine of our 11 points. Are coming from me. Paul Gasol left wide open. That is one guy that you do not want to leave open. From the mid range, he is money. You see me once again playing so aggressive. Henry Caspi going to Paul Gasol. That was well contested. That is exactly how you need to defend Paul Gasol. I'm going on the other way. Dude, the Bulls need to step up their defense. They were sleeping on that play. You see me get the block. I see Dwayne Wade. A flashy pass. And he doesn't finish. Jimmy Butler now. Trying to cut the lead. Down to five. And they can't get anything going right now. Throwing up this alley you to D-Wade. like it's too early for this in the second quarter they're already double teaming me and they are leaving chris bosh wide open i definitely want to see this improve next year like it just doesn't make sense why the computer does that once again this time it is me knocking on the three-pointer gaining some fans here in the united center they should gain me more fans another three-pointer as the lead now is 11 but as we simulated forward man things started collapsing the chicago Bulls cut the lead down to five and i started committing turnovers we're just not knocking down our jump shots and they were doing the exact opposite so it's a three-point game going into the third quarter jimmy butler who's injured ties the game up I don't know what to say, man. I mean, the guy is a warrior. He's playing with an injury, and oh my, Derrick Rose makes a statement right there. Three-pointer is going to tie it up, and once again, this Kobe Bryant jump shot. I am absolutely in love with the way it looks and the results, because right now I'm getting the clutching shots to go down. Paul Gasol, again, someone needs to stop that guy. Luckily for us, Aaron Brooks does check in here, misses that shot. And look at me finessing. What a layup right there. The game is tied up. Now, this is when things get interesting. I get subbed out with the score being 46 to 50. When I come back in, it's 52 to 65. Like, what the heck? 
Why did they take me out of the game, first of all? Second of all, what were we doing on offense and defense? How could we give up that many points in a quarter? It just seems like this is rigged. Like, absolutely rigged. They wanted us to go to game seven. You know what? Well, that's what we're going to do. I mean, we have no other choice. You see, that game went to game seven. And wow, I honestly thought OKC was going to pull away with that one. But Damian Lillard and McCollum must have put in work. So we're going to keep an eye out on that series. Now it is all up to us, man. Boston is waiting. Game seven. Let's get this started. Right? Put it all on the floor. Here's Wade following the score by Derrick Rose. And yes, sir, that one drops. Three, three. Defender there is shot. Here's Freak. Trains the three-pointer. Freak's three-pointer. And that one's good. Freak. Freak's got a left. Dude, this Kobe jump shot Let's is so money. Especially when it's being contested. Like, I feel like I'm making more jump shots being contested than I am left wide open. And like I said, man, that Kobe jump shot on quick release is so money. Now, this game right now, it just seems like we have a decent lead. But the same thing happened in the last game. The Chicago Bulls came back. They go on a 14-6 run. And now we're in the fourth quarter, only up by one. This is crucial, man. The loser goes home, and I am not going to lose this game in front of our home craft. Three minutes remaining, 47 to 50. Miritich, pump faking twice. Going to, oh, come on. Whose man is this? Why did they leave him wide open? Now, Paul Gasol, Mr. Fundamental over here, knocks down everything, and they have a two-point lead. We need to stop here bad. They go to Paul Gasol once again, and he misses. Thank you. Dude, he's so money from that part of the court. You see Winslow right here tying this game up. Oh, man. This game is too nerve-wracking. One minute left on the inbound. They turn the ball over. I had Winslow down the court. But it's all good. We're going to pull up for the three. The Mamba shot. That Kobe release is amazing. Miritich is still fighting for his team. It's only a one-point game. I'm going to take as much time as possible off the clock here. But they're double-teaming me. I go to Chris Bosh. Chris gets fouled. You can see the crowd is hype. They know in just a few seconds, we're going to be going to the Eastern Conference Finals. Just one more stop. Miritich pulling up for the three. And he knocks it down. Absolutely cold-blooded. These guys are not giving up. Dwayne Wade, all you have to do is knock down both of these free throws. The first one is good. Let's go. We have to make it a three-point game. Take your time. Dwayne Wade, how ironic is it we're playing against the Chicago Bulls? That is the team he's going to be playing for this year. This is strange. Derrick Rose. What is he going to do? 12 seconds remaining. All they need is a three. He pump fakes. Going to Miritzic. And that was well contested. Good defense on our part. And now, the guy that they did not want to foul is headed to the free throw line to put the finisher on this series it has been an amazing one chicago bulls man they fought hard they made this series exciting we put on a show across the country and now with both of these free throws there's just no more time for the chicago bulls to do anything derrick rose on the inbound pulls up for the three and that is officially game the Miami Heat are advancing to the conference finals. Just to show you guys that this was on Hall of Fame, as the screen is about to switch, it will say difficulty modifier. I didn't have too much of a crazy game, but you guys see right there, difficulty modifier is 2.0. That means it was on Hall of Fame. 
You guys already know what the playoff tree looks like. We are taking on the Boston Celtics, and it's incredible the Boston Celtics. They beat Atlanta. They beat the Cleveland Cavaliers, so I'm kind of intimidated, man. Let's go ahead and see what their team looks like. Look at how the points are spread. Like, they're playing team basketball. Here's every single member of the Boston Celtics in my current season. I hope you guys enjoyed that boss nation again thank you so much for all the support thank you for being patient with me on this series if you did enjoy that be sure to give it a thumbs up the next playoff round is coming very soon sooner than you think